Hello, it's Nick and today I will show you how to design input stepper in Figma. First, we need to add a text element. Let's type 7. Select it and create an outer layout. Set dimensions to 56 to 56 pixels. And change background color to white. Now we need to create a few copies of our frame. Let's put the frames with numbers 8 and 9 above the frame with number 7 and 6 and 5 below the 7. Select our frames and distribute them vertically. Change the space between frames to 0. Select all our frames and create a new frame by clicking a frame selection. Give it a name Numbers. Now we need to add functional controls. Let's be creative and instead plus and minus use up and down arrows. Change the size of our arrows to 20 to 20 pixels, recolor it to black and add our arrow to the auto layout. Don't forget to align it to the center and use the same dimensions as our frame with numbers, which is 56 to 56 pixels. Change the background color of our frame to light blue and let's also make it perfectly circle by changing the color radius to 100. Let's create a copy of our control and give it a name. Select the arrow and rotate it to 180 degrees to make it point to the down. And we need to create another frame that will serve as a container for our controls and numbers. Let's change the size of our new frame to 240 by 56 pixels. You can see that the height of the container is the same as the height of the controls and numbers. Let's give it a name, Picker. Copy and paste up and down frames to our picker and do the same with numbers. Ensure that the frame numbers is located inside the picker. Select picker and click clip content. By doing that you trim the numbers so only the number that fits the height of the parent container will be visible. We need to create a few copies of our design. And now we need to change the visible number either by dragging the frame inside the container or using the keyboard. I use up and down keys on my keyboard to select different numbers. Ok, it's time to create a component. Select our elements and click Create Component Set. Now the last step is create a transition between different variants. We want to create a transition between variants when the user clicks up and down controls. So we need to select up control, drag the arrow to the next variant and choose on click transition. Use smart animate settings with ease out and 300 milliseconds. Same thing for the next version and another one. Now we need to complete the same operation but for the down control. When the user clicks down we want to move to the previous version. Make sure you select the control with creating a transition, not the whole frame. It's time to test our design. Let's create a new frame called Test and put our input stepper inside it. Click the preview button and test our interaction. Works exactly as expected. Hope it was helpful. Thank you.